MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Gerald Apple developed it in the late 1970s as a tool that utilizes moving averages to determine the momentum of an asset. Before diving into the mechanisms of MACD, it is essential to understand the concept of moving averages. A moving average is simply a line that represents the average value of previous data during a predefined period and can be divided into two different types – simple moving averages, also known as an SMA, and exponential moving averages, also known as an EMA. While the SMA assigns equal weight to all previous data, an EMA assigns more importance to the most recent data values. The MACD indicator is calculated by subtracting two exponential moving averages to create the main MACD line. This line is then used to calculate another EMA that is referred to as the signal line. In addition to the MACD and signal lines, the MACD chart also has a histogram, which is generated based on the differences between those two lines. The MACD indicator consists of three elements moving above and below the center line the MACD line, the signal line, and the histogram. The MACD line helps determine upward or downward momentum by measuring the gap between two exponential moving averages. The signal line is usually a nine-period EMA of the MACD line. That is, a nine-day EMA on daily charts, a nine-hour EMA on hourly charts, and so forth. The MACD histogram is a graphical representation that is calculated based on the differences between the other two lines. But instead of adding a third moving line, the histogram is made of a bar graph, making it visually easier to read and interpret. As the name suggests, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator tracks the relationships between moving averages, and the correlation between the two lines can be described as either convergent or divergent. Convergent when the lines gravitate toward one another, and divergent when they move apart. The relevant signals of the MACD indicator are related to the so-called crossovers, which happen when the MACD line crosses above or below the center line, or above or below the signal line. Keep in mind that both center line and signal line crossovers may happen multiple times, producing many false and tricky signals, especially in regards to volatile assets, such as cryptocurrencies. Therefore, one should not rely on the MACD indicator alone. Traders consider the MACD indicator a useful tool for identifying market trades and momentum. However, it is not always accurate and may provide false and misleading signals, especially during weak trending or sideways price action. As a consequence, many traders use MACD along with other indicators to reduce risks. To learn more about technical analysis indicators, don't forget to watch our other videos at Binance Academy.